Hello guys, and welcome to Me Time Gamer official YouTube channel. I'm Jonathan, and I'm going to be giving my impression on the beta from the month of November. Now, I was able to get a crew beta key during the month of uh, November, of course. And uh, I'm not a, like I'll start off. I'm not very good at video uh, racing video games, but uh, so with that said, let's get our hands on on the crew beta. And of course, I know the game is releasing on this December second, so. But we'll still we'll still go with my uh, my impressions on the beta. So start it up. So first, the crew puts you in the life of Alex. Now I won't go too too much into details here, not to spoil the beginning. But you end up in prison basically for five years, if I remember properly. You're released by an FBI agent named Zoe under certain condition. You must find evidence to put down a crook, crooked FBI agent and to bring down the V8, which is top rank of the 510 Motor Club by rising through the, the echelon of the game. You perform races, take down, and much more. All in your cu uh, customizable vehicle, which you can expand on so many ways. The story is appealing, and I really had, f basically the, what I enjoyed the most of the beta was pretty the story. The narrative was pretty much, it wasn't that, that expanded, but it was still pretty great for a beta. But I don't really think they can improve more on that from there, since it's already done. So we continue as 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 you rank up in levels, you gain better grades, more street credibility by winning and taking out competition. Uh, when you win races or challenges, you can get one of three medals: bronze, silver, gold, depending on the points you gain during the event. These medals also give you overall performance points to put towards your car. It's a good system for ranking, but the part branches the part branches can seem a bit overwhelming at times. Meaning can be a bit complicated how to adjust your settings and stuff like that. I'm not not big into that, so I'm not a professional at those, like GT6 or stuff like that. I never played those games. Onwards. So, one thing I would like to point out is the skill tests when you are in free roam. These are really... That, that's one of the aspects that really caught my eye. When you're driving along in long, long areas when you're going to one city to the other, the really fun thing is there's skill tests along the way when you're going, like, t the, the drive between two cities can take a, quite a lot of time. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you get skill tests, like, speed tests, jumps, all those kind of th stuff, and uh, they're really fun, actually, they're, I enjoy it, it actually ma makes the drive go by way faster, and, yeah, it's really enjoyable. Uh, another feature I'd like to, me to mention is the collectibles. There's a couple other types, but the one that really caught my eye was uh, getting car pieces. So you have to collect them in, uh, in the beta. I don't know if they changed for the main game, but each each cluster of state has their own set. When you get close to a car piece, or in this case, old abandoned cars, your radar starts to blink red, going towards the green. And when you get closer, you just bump into it. You bump into the car and collect a piece. It blends really. It's it's, it's it really a change of pace compared to like other games where you like you get a little floaty thing in the middle of nowhere. It's it's really fun. Uh, now for the driving. Well, the first minutes I really found they were horrible. They weren't weren't as exciting. I felt like I was just like I was always grinding on walls. The, the car was sliding. Um, like I said, for the most parts, your ride gets better. The drive feels more comfortable. This still doesn't fix the clunkiness all the way. But as you progress, you unlock car types like street specs and dirt specs, which are the two only types that are available in the beta, and you, you can see a difference as you move along. The thing I like to touch upon is the world itself. It's massive. Like You really get a sense of like all the world itself, and it's really fun to play through it, explore it forever, but of course they're limited by the time on the beta. Uh, you really do get nice, um, the landmarks are pretty much all there, I'm not, I don't live in the state so I don't know all the landmarks, but I've seen most, most of what the beta had to offer and I was really impressed how detailed and all of those stuff were. Overall, the, the game is great, the, what, the, well, the beta was great, uh, it got me hooked and I, I was still entertained, I played a lot and, um, uh, I didn't get a chance to try to co op or anything of the PvP challenge, but in my opinion, the only thing that got me irritated was the driving mainly, which is basically the main part of the game, right? So, if that gets better, sure, the game would probably be way much better. Uh, besides that, the game's still fun, still hooks you, collectibles are pretty fun, and uh, yeah. So, uh, thank you for listening to the video. If you enjoyed, follow us on YouTube. You can go to the Facebook page at MeTimeGamer. You can go to Twitter at MeTimeGamer, all one word. Thank you very much.